welcome aspiring lawyers to another extremely interesting topic video on the Clat Possible YouTube channel. I'm Priyanka Dhillon and today we have a gripping story of justice, rule of law and the power of the Indian constitution. This one's not just for future lawyers, but for anyone who believes in the importance of upholding justice. So grab your notebooks because we are about to dive into a landmark case that demonstrates the strength of our legal system. So citing the words of the late Justice V. R. Krishna Iyer, the court said that the finest hour of the rule of law is when law disciplines life and matches the promise with performance. Adding that justice should remain loyal to the rule of law. Today we are going to explore the incredible story of Bilkis Bano and 2002 Gujarat riots. It is a case that shows how the wheels of justice turn even in the face of adversity. So in 2002, uh, an extremely horrific violence engulfed the Indian state of Gujarat, leaving many lives shattered. The triggers, a train incident, communal tensions, and lots and lots of controversial statements. But today we are focusing on the aftermath and how justice prevailed. So fast forward to the courtroom, Bilkis Bano, a survivor of the heinous violence, refused to let her voice be silenced. She approached the Supreme Court with the help of the National Human Rights Commission, setting in motion a legal battle that would change lives. Now this case went through twists and turns, including a transfer to a special CBI court in Mumbai for a fair trial. 13 of the 20 accused were convicted, 7 acquitted, and out of these 11 convicts, out of these 13 convicts, 11 received life imprisonment. But the story doesn't end here. Just when you thought that the case was closed, it resurfaced in 2022. Now, one of the convicts, Mr. Radhesham Bhagwanda Shah, sought early release sparking debates and protests throughout the country. In May 2022, the bench comprising Justice A. Rastogi and Justice B. Nath, they directed the Gujarat government to consider his remission. And we'll understand what remission is in just a few minutes. So they considered his remission. Remission matlab apni uh, punishment ko thoda sa kam kar dena, Right? Application in accordance with this 1992 policy of the Gujarat government. And it was on the 15th of August 2022 during Independence Day celebration that the Gujarat government accepted the remission application for all the 11 convicts who were sentenced to life imprisonment. The Gujarat government stated that they were granting early release in accordance with the 1992 policy citing good conduct of the convicts while imprisoned. Ki wo jab jail mein the, to unka conduct bahut badiya tha, isiliye unko ham log uh, samay se pehle chhod rahe hain. So the Gujarat government's remission decision led to a Supreme Court showdown. So let's break it down what are clemency powers or pardoning powers. As you can see on your screen, Article 72 and Article 161 of the Constitution give the President and Governor the authority to grant pardons, commutations, and more. It is all about checks and balances in our system. So to make it very, very simple, pardoning somebody means completely absolving a person of his offense, making a guilty person non-guilty. Commutation basically means changing the character of the sentence. So for example, a death penalty can be converted into a life imprisonment. Right? Remission means quantum of the sentence can be reduced. Matlab, saat saal ki saza hai, to che saal ki saza ho gai, something like that. Respite bhi hum saza ko kam hi kar rahe hai, lekin koi specific reasons ki wajay se, jaysay ki mental, physical incapability. And reprieve is basically putting a stay on the execution of the sentence. Ki thodi der tak execution of the sentence nahi hoga, thodi der ke baad hoga. Now, apart from this, there are other statutes that also talk about remission. So, for example, Section 432 CRPC, which is important, because it says that the 
अप्रोप्रिएट स्टेट गवर्नमेंट है ना अप्रोप्रिएट स्टेट गवर्नमेंट इस पर्टिकुलर केस में गुजरात की गवर्नमेंट नहीं है इट इज महाराष्ट्र की गवर्नमेंट एंड दैट इज वॉट हेज बिन सेट बाय द सुप्रीम कोर्ट विच वी विल टॉक अबाउट इन फ्यू मिनट्स वाई बिकॉज लाइक आई टोल्ड यू दैट दिस केस वॉज नॉट इन गुजरात ये केस शिफ्ट होके महाराष्ट्र गया था सो अप्रोप्रिएट स्टेट गवर्नमेंट मे रेमिट द होल ऑफ पार्ट ऑफ द पनिशमेंट टू विच अ पर्सन हैज बिन सेंटेंस्ड एंड इन केस ऑफ लाइफ इम्प्रिजमेंट ये तभी होगा जब वो इंसान एटलीस्ट फोर्टीन ईयर्स तक जेल में रहा हो सो दिस इज वॉट द लॉ हैज टू से राइट एंड नाउ द ग्रैंड फिनाले द सुप्रीम कोर्ट्स जजमेंट सो फॉर माई क्लैट एंड एल इट एग्जाम वॉट इज द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग फॉर मी इज द नेम ऑफ द केस विच इज बिल्किस याकूब रसूल वर्सेज यूनियन ऑफ इंडिया विच सेज अर्ली रिलीज ऑफ बिल्किस बानो गैंग रेप कॉन्विक्स द सुप्रीम कोर्ट हेल्थ दैट द गुजरात गवर्नमेंट वॉज द इन करेक्ट अथॉरिटी टू ग्रांट रेमिशन टू इलेवन मैन कन्विक्टेड ऑफ गैंग रेप इन द बिल्किस बानो केस नाउ दैट वी नो वट द जजमेंट इज लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड वाई वॉज इट मेड सो दे रूल दैट द गवर्नमेंट गुजरात गवर्नमेंट हैड ओवर स्टेप्ड इट्स बाउंड इन ग्रांटिंग रेमिशन द कोर्ट ऑल्सो डेल्व इन टू section 432 of crpc which deals with the power to suspend or remit sentences so the verdict clarified that the appropriate government in this context was the state where the offender was sentenced which was maharashtra and not gujarat the court's ruling highlighted four crucial reasons for declaring the orders illegal char bahut important reasons ki wajah se इन्होंने ये रेमिशन ऑर्डर को इनकरेक्ट माना पहला जैसे कि मैंने आपको बोला था कि ये काम महाराष्ट्र की सरकार का था गुजरात कर ही नहीं सकती आउटडेटेड रेमिशन पॉलिसी कहते हैं 1992 की पॉलिसी आप 2002 में लगा रहे हैं वो आउटडेटेड पॉलिसी है डिस रिगार्डिंग द प्रिजाइडिंग जजेज ओपिनियन जिसने ओपिनियन दिया था दो में कि हम मुझे नहीं लगता कि इनको रेमिशन देना चाहिए मतलब इनकी सजा कम होनी चाहिए and overlooking unpaid fines by the way they these uh, 11 convicts had not paid their fines for such a long time so these are the reasons that were given by the court the court emphasized the importance of the rule of law and how no one no matter how high or low is above it the court acknowledged the sensitivity of the matter and but emphasized that the rule of law must prevail over individual लिबर्टी की जो ये ग्यारह लोग हैं इनको दोबारा से आपको जेल में डालना पड़ेगा उनका पर्सनल लिबर्टी पब्लिक इंटरेस्ट से ज्यादा नहीं है राइट सो दैट इज वॉट वॉज देयर ओवर हियर राइट एंड वी जस्ट स्पोक अबाउट वॉट द सुप्रीम कोर्ट ऑल्सो हैव टू से वी स्टार्टेड द इंटायर थिंग विद जस्टिस वी आर कृष्ण अयर एंड वॉट हीट सेट ब्रिलियंट कोर्ट सो वॉट कैन यंग लॉ एस्पिरेंस टेक अवे फ्रॉम दिस एपिक लीगल बैटल रिमेंबर that justice may take time but it prevails upholding the rule of law is vital and as future lawyers you will be the guardians of justice in our democracy that's a wrap for today's video if you found this breakdown helpful hit the like button subscribe for more such legal insights and don't forget to ring that notification bell remember that the journey to justice is full of challenges but it's totally worth it So stay curious, keep studying, and never stop believing in the power of law. Until next time, keep your dreams alive, legal warriors. That's all from our end. Thank you.